Welcome to race number 35 and the first race of the third round. Blaine Keys and Kevin Carter on the front row. Here's the race command and here's the full point. Drivers, final results. start your engines! And there it is, the engines are fired up. The driver sweep dance. You cannot see the points. Game of Talladega for some reason. Well, it's Darius Johnson, Adam Nicholas, Ramey Fisher, Matt Nilo, Jerry Guerra, John Acosta, Chris Collin, Andrew Rich. Those are your top eight. There's the 32 and the 1 and the 7. They're the win this. Obviously, the advance to the last round. The championship four. The pace car is in. Already in. Who's gonna win it? Green flag is out. Here we go. We're underway. Ten cars already got the lead here. Three wide. Look at the seven making it three wide already. And oh, the 88. Talladega winner in the wall. Got a... Okay, no rack, no caution. We stay green. What a move by the seven early. 48. And I think we got a wreck this time. Yep, we got a wreck. Caution. Caution flag is out. Blaine Keys is the race leader. Who wrecked? Looks like it's Garrett Pick and the 18 John Magda Jr. Caution flag is out. Keys, the race leader. We'll take a look at the replay. They're gonna come across the line here. Right, they're not racing about race cars right there. Okay. Well, we expected a wreck. Actually, let's rewind this. Let's see what happened first. So Jesse Turner, one of the drivers who got eliminated from the chase. Looks like he went a bit high and Alfred Green got into him. And both cars went in right into the wall. Everyone checked up. 88 almost got turned by the 15. And a lot of contact being made, but we were still green. Fast forward just a little bit. There were like five wide entering the corner. We never even saw five wide at Talladega. And we're seeing it here at Martinsville. And we got more wrecks. We just all piled right in. You see. Matt Dale, uh, not Matt Dale, well, yeah, Matt Dale's right there. Andrew Rich and Ramey and Fisher. Both cars up against the wall here. Both drivers who advanced in the next round to this round. And there's Brandon. He got hit by the four car appears. And they're all stacking up. I don't even know who actually caused this one. They're all over the place. It stayed green for a while. And then the yellow lights came on. I don't know why, though. For some other tracks, they throw that thing so fast. It's faster than going than something going around Bristol. But Martinsville, I guess it's a mix. Oh, I didn't see that. I want to take a look. At Two or five? Whose fault? Five. Well, he put more damage on his race car and just wrecked the two car. So both cars are probably going to head to the garage here. And you got one more wreck. And with the 14 in Willie Lee. Let's see here. Oh, John Hunt. He didn't even turn. Uh, actually, they're coming off the corner here. He probably didn't expect that. So, so Lee's out. Probably the first car going to be out of the race after that hit. Hard hit. At least it wasn't the driver's side or head-on. Had a few head-on crashes over there. Hit the right side. Alright, let's take you back. Uh, okay, I guess I took too long here. I did not accelerate that much, but we are still green at least. Okay, I guess I gotta speed this thing up. Damn it! I think we just missed a lap. But we're still green, we're still green, we're okay, we didn't miss anything. You know, just to restart and uh, you know, yeah, pretty much. Blaine Keys, race leader, Kevin Carter in second. Kyle, currently the highest running chase driver. And look at Daryl Johnson driving in hard. Johnson just got eliminated in the chase. He's in fifth, trying to go for fourth. Let's just pause the damn thing. When we're at tracks like Martinsville, I gotta pause the whole race so this doesn't happen. Seven. Now the driver got eliminated from the chase. Five cars out of the race. 
these cars are going to be able to play in making points after this race. He's still looking for his first tour of the season. Um, with that famous 48 car to victory lane. Kevin Hart is up short a few times. Not a good thing over him. Sorry, second. Currently second. Trying to chase that 48 car down. He's gone the number 7 car. Thought he wasn't. Yeah, everyone thought that the team switch. It was a terrible move by Verizon our last season. Almost got the championship again. Almost. Came up short. And right now he's in third. Looking for the win here. Looking to advance to the next round. And there's Jerry Garen the 32. We haven't talked about him since his till his win at Daytona. Crazy. Actually, we didn't talk about him for a bit until the chase started. He's gotten this far. It's unbelievable. One of the veterans out there. Coming fifth, uh, another chase driver. There's Johnson, who won the first Martinsville event, doing pretty well so far, trying to sweep Martinsville. And of course, a win today would be big for the one, or for anyone who's still in contention. If not, Kevin's ran good all season. Got a win too late. Didn't make the chase. Currently seventh. And there's William Brock, another driver who just got, who got eliminated in the first round. Yep, we got a caution. Yellow flag is out. Brings it back to the line. And Blink Keys will take it once again. Caution is out. Caution is out. We'll take a look at the replay. So Jaron Hamilton, another driver who got who just got eliminated from the chase after Talladega Cody Evans got eliminated before that. 31 driving in hard. And just decided to dump Cody coming off the corner. But then he ends up going around as he gets in a Stuart Grayton who also got eliminated after Talladega. Only two cars and they just spun out. Nothing too big there, which is good. So, uh, yeah. Second caution of the day, and uh, we'll take you back to the restart. The lights are off. We're coming to the green. The 40 car having to make an unscheduled pit stop. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Well, yeah. To wait for scoring. Probably 34th. Not good. Not good at all. So the pace car's in. Here we go. Come to the green. Flags out, here we go. Ten got a good start here. Tried using the outside. And here goes a seven. Side by side for second here. Side by side for fourth as well. Hard trying to clear. Can't quite do it. Still battling for second. Here's Gara. He moves up a spot. Might be able to take another one here. He just stick his nose in it. There it is. Trying to sweep here at Martinsville. They're stuck on the outside. And almost at the halfway point. John Costa, another driver who advanced in the chase, having to make it on schedule good stuff too. The 11 car Jordan Newman also got on. Andrew Rich in the 17, another chase driver who advanced on pit road. One car looking for fourth here, trying to drop Carter back a spot. He's right behind him. You don't want to be stuck on the outside here at Martinsville. But Carter might clear him this time. Yeah, he's got him clear. He wow. I thought he was gonna dump him. The one is driving hard, trying to work his way up to the front. Carter's hanging strong on the outside though. He's doing everything he can to hang on to that spot. We start double fall here and we are, we are on the halfway point. 38 just got bumped and run by the 44. Two drivers got eliminated. 30, 38. Brandon Lewis, I thought, was, I think it was the first round. He was out. He was out. 
Carter, they got clear of the one here. that bug that damage glitch right there. It's ridiculous. Here we go. In the third. Chase that seven car and the 48 down. Trying to score another win. And then to the next and the final round of the chase. You gotta go for the win here. Second and third, not bad, but you wanna be locked in. You can have two bad races and that could be the end of your hopes. So you better chase that 48 down, but Keys is fast, extremely fast. But Jerry Gear has the fastest lap. 17.208 versus 17.217. That wasn't recent though. 503-488. Jerry Gear is faster. That time. 415. 584. This time Keys is faster that time. Nice reading this thing right. 20 to go by the way, coming to 19 to go. Well, we have another caution. The 40 car is slowly working his way up. He can't seem to get through traffic. It's tough here at Martinsville. And another caution come out, reset the field. Thank you. Not every single lap we've raced so far, but it ain't over yet. I'm on the first event on the lead. Over the 18. I think we I mean, something and he wrecked. This car messed up trying to get on pit road and he got stuck on the outside while leading so many laps. And he ended up falling to the so slowly falling back. Then he got wrecked. 1142 2.5 these drivers at the back need a caution. We want one more shot at this. It may or may not happen. We'll see. A lot of action at the back. We might get a caution soon. He's trying to fill that gap. Oh, I'm trying to get by the 95 here. Matt Mario. Another chase driver currently 18. Across the one lap down or more, he's 33rd. And he's just one lap down. Okay. How about a one car? 32 and 7. Closed in on the 48 that time, but can't be anything like every other lap. Yep, there we go. Here he is, closing in on the 7. Just fast. In as many positions as possible. The one car still trying to chase Kevin Carter down. And if they, he's hanging on to six. Have to get put, got put in the wall by William Brock. Mark Talladega. We're almost at the 10 to go, Mark. He should be good unless something goes wrong and. Oh, got a 48 stopped on the racetrack. Careful, careful, we got a caution. Oh. 2012 all over again. Don't forget what happened. No, that 20. Uh, yeah, 2012. Yeah. Our rudiment stopped on the racetrack at Martinsville and brought out a late caution. Oh man, but we're well. This is not well. It wasn't. We still had. We they still had like blah, had like a couple laps left. We still got like 10 right now. Gonna reach probably gonna reach about seven. So, unexpected caution here. Oh boy, this should be interesting. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, just like Rudiman, um, can you really blame him? Alright, he's on the back stretch, and maybe you can blame him. Okay, car's still going, uh, and then the car just, I guess, shuts off by itself, but he's already past pit road. There's no way he would have made it. So, I guess it's just like Rudiman, couldn't get down pit road, and pretty much had to stop on a racetrack, and cause a yellow you know I had a feeling something happened because look at what happened to the 48 so the 43 stops stops right in the middle of the front stretch and in the 48 he goes way off everyone able to avoid it 
So the 48, of course, car stop. We're still green. And he goes all the way up to the racetrack. All the way up. Wasn't like a smooth slide to the outside wall. He just pretty much turned to the right and let the car go by itself. So, Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Something like this would happen and bring out a yellow. Well, uh, take you back to the restart. Here we go. Coming to the green. 30 cars remaining on the racetrack. Blaine Keys, Chris Kyle, Jerry Guerra, Kevin Carter, and Darius Johnson. Your top five. Blaine Keys, the only one that does not want to see that caution come out. But now he's got two drivers that have a shot to win it. And if they do win it, they'll advance in the next round and the green flag is out. The seven spun the tires. Keys got off to a good restart. So no one able to uh, drive it in and cause a wreck. Seven messed up big time. But they're three wide back here. It might wreck. It might reset the field again. Seven messed up big time. That was his chance. And he spun him. He still has the lead. Jagger is stuck behind him. There's Johnson has a chance trying to move his way up to the front. Doing everything he can to gain as many spots as possible for this race is over here. Over a half a second this time. Seven's driving it hard. Five to go. And oh, we got two cars on the wall. The 13 and the 38. Everyone's scrambling. This is it. They're going to wreck right here. That's going to bring up the caution. That will be it. Actually, they made it through, but what about turn one? Oh, teammates. They're all packed, all bunched up, and look at the contact. Three wide's not a problem. Four wide is. Oh my god, maybe three wide is a problem. Got three laps to go, guys. We have two laps to go here. Main keys, Kyle, Gara, Carter, and Darius. The part of the top five remain the same with everyone up behind. They all switch spots. Everyone gained except for the top row. Coming to the white flag here. One more time around. The 48 in front. Trying to go for his first win of the season. Tom messed up big time. That's what cost him the race. Here they come. Checkered flag is out. Blaine Keyes is going to win it at Martinsville. Here comes the rest of the field. Look at them. Three wide still. Wow. Pure dominance by the number 48. And all laps. Wins the race. Almost had a loss at that last caution. But seven messed up. And that was all he's hoping for, is, you know, I guess, I guess that he's, his, his value, I guess, but never mind. We'll show it before race, race results now. So, here it is, Blaine Keys, Chris Kyle, Jerry Gerard, Kevin Carter, Darius Johnson, Henry Williams, Jackie Futzwater, Brad Lewis, Peyton Keys, and Noodles Newley, your top 10. Here's the rest of the race results, 30 cars finished on the lead lap, 37 then finished the race, and 5 of them didn't finish at all. Only five? Wow, that's gotta be a new record. Actually, no, I don't think so, but wow, five is still pretty little at Martinsville. You usually get those big wrecks, but uh, pretty clean race. Uh, a bit more more action than the first event. First one was shit, but uh, this one was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Blaine Keys, the race winner, will now take you to victory lane.